This is a message from the magpie's nest. Okay. Uh, I tried doing this earlier. Um, a little bit closer to the video I did before. Uh, that video was a response video to Haley. Uh, who did a video on her relationship with her dad and I did one on mine. And in that story I went into some details about this woman I knew. Well, she was a young, young lady then, but, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll go into detail about how that day, how that weekend came about. Now I might be doubling up on the details here. I can't really remember what it was, what I said in that video. Uh, because it was a fair while ago that I actually did it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Basically, what happened is I, my dad had developed a relationship with a woman who lived further up the coast in a place called Musselbrook which wasn't too far away from where the young lady I used to know had lived on. Um, basically, when I always would visit my dad in the far north coast of New South Wales, um, uh, this young lady who I developed a friendship with them and possibly more uh, would uh, visit her grandma her grandparents who lived kind of across the road from my dad and his second wife yes he had more than two uh, uh, yeah, I'd go visit her, she'd come visit me, we'd hang out, talk, all, all that. Um, uh, I was cra crazy about her then too, I was absolutely nuts about her. I'd do just about anything to get her to pay any kind of attention to me. Sorry. It's bothering me. Anyway. By the way, this is my first one. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, my dad had, uh, as I said, developed a relationship with this woman, and we went up to see her. Met up with her at Maitland Station, because we had to take the train up, didn't we? By the way, I do like taking the train. The train is uh, nice and relaxing, and good to see the view out the window and all that, but it's very cheap form of transport to... Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we went up and saw her. He did what he had to do, and I hung out with uh, this woman's son, who was close to my age, but not um, a few years younger than me. And I mentioned to him that uh, I think I mentioned this story in there. I uh, mentioned to him that about this woman I knew and he uh, got to talking and he said, well, then, you know, it's not that far from here. 
It's only about ha half an hour away or so. You'll probably get you over there while you're while you're here. If you want to meet up with them. Anyway. Get in contact with her. Talk to her. She actually did remember me, believe it or not. But then again, to her, I guess it was pretty hard to forget. Uh, as she is for me. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um. Yeah, anyway, I've got... Got to on the phone, talked for a little bit, and we arranged to meet up. Now I'm fogging on the details. I don't know whether it was that weekend or the next weekend we ended up meeting up. But yeah, I could barely sleep the night before. It took me forever to settle down and get to sleep. I was just thinking about her the whole time. Anyway, got the next day. I got all ready to go. Uh, I can't remember exactly all the details here but I, was, I remember being very excited. Uh, took, took off. I, we took off and went to see her. Uh, but so we pulled into this parking lot to uh, at the near the place where we decided to meet because we'd I uh, wanted somewhere to meet where it was just a good place to meet. Uh, anyway, um, got there and I had to wait around a bit. Not very long, like five or ten minutes, uh, five minutes. Anyway, um, sat there. I was went over to the path and that and had a look around. Looked across the street, saw this um, beautiful woman with this guy, and I thought, damn, she's good looking. <laughs> anyway, basically, uh, I, I was getting a bit impatient. Turned around to my dad and said, look, she's not coming. Then I hear this, hey, from behind me. Turn around. The beautiful woman I was looking at was the woman that, <laughs> that I was waiting for. Anyway, we took all uh, off cat, ended up taking off back to her place. Oh. And me being typical, typical me, was all dressed in black that particular day. <laughs> yeah, I was very goth before goth was off. <laughs> uh, and I kept that shirt by the way for quite a while that I want took off that trip. I, I didn't want to get I didn't want to give it up because it was the uh, only thing I can remember that I was wearing that day. But I got I had to get rid of it and anyway pff, grew out of it, whatever. Uh, God I've been talking for this long. Alright, I'll sum this up really quick. Basically Got there, hung out to play on the computer for a while. Like, not that long, she showed me what was on the computer and all that. Got took off in her room. Uh, anyway, <laughs> in there, uh, talked for quite a while. Then, me and her kind of got a look at each other. One thing happened and basically we were ended up making out for <laughs> quite a while and during this time I let it th three little words slip <clears throat> uh, <laughs> and that was a big, big mistake uh, and it kind of frustrates me to this day that I let those three words slip because if I hadn't said these three words I would probably know that woman to this day 
in some, in some form or another, but because of those three words, I lost her. And those three words were way, or I, I admit, uh, they were way too soon to say and everything, but you have to remember I was very inexperienced at the time and trust me it's uh, I've said those three words since and they haven't meant as much as when I said those three words to her anyway I've been mattering on for a while here uh, I, I just want to get that here and I don't know when I'll put this up but please subscribe to my channel and um yeah quick I'll, do, I'll add that other bit later okay